I'm going to ask you a simple question and I hope you got the right answer. Do we need vertical bone augmentation to augment vertical bone loss? Of course not. This is absolutely wrong. This is a very common mistake. We don't need vertical bone augmentation to augment vertical bone loss. Logically, it seems right, but in reality, it's not. Why? Why is that? Because to determine if you have either horizontal bone loss or vertical bone loss, it depends on the final shape of bone. It depends on the final shape of bone. As in this case, this is a coronal section of the lower jaw. After 10 years, we lose bone. We lose the alveolar bone and we end up with the basal bone. We lose that height. So that, as in this case, the final shape of bone is horizontal. So that, this is considered a horizontal bone loss. Even though we lose the vertical height, this is considered a horizontal bone loss. To augment that ridge, we need vertical bone augmentation. So that, we need vertical bone augmentation to augment horizontal bone loss because the final shape is horizontal. Even though we lose the vertical height, this is considered a horizontal bone loss. This is a very common mistake. Same in this case. This is a coronal section of the lower jaw. After 10 years, we end up with, with this shape. We lose bone, right? Same rule applied. The final shape of bone is vertical. So that this is considered a vertical bone loss. To augment a vertical bone loss, we need horizontal bone augmentation. And if you need more information regarding the vertical bone loss and horizontal bone loss, I really recommend you to have, to have this book. There is a lot of data. If you have any questions, just write it down and I will be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching.